All right, Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. So, I hope you're doing very well, first of all. I hope you had a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Please let me know in the comment section below how you've been doing lately through all of this madness. And today, if you haven't already guessed by the title, we are doing a reading from your future self, your higher self, so to speak. Because who better knows us than our future selves? So we are starting off with the Sacred Rebel Oracle deck. I'm going to give you a card from there, talk a little bit about that. Then we're going to move on to the Light Seer's Tarot. I'm going to pull six or so cards from there, and then we're going to go back to the Sacred Rebel to finish it all off. So, let's see what the Sacred Rebel has in store for you. Ooh, dream a beautiful dream. All right, so there you have that. Dream a beautiful dream is a lot about, you know, daring to dream about what it is that you really want. So we have a lot of really feeling what it is that you desire exactly. And that does not me mean it has to be a, you know, material thing, although the Dream a Beautiful Dream card does talk about, you know, a strong urge to create. But the creation does not necessarily have to be, you know, a physical thing. It could be a physical thing. Like, you know, a business or a new hobby or like a specific painting you wanted to do or finish the photo album. But it could also be, you know, creating harmony within yourself, within your body and your mind. It could also be within your family, in your relationship. Creation is many things, people. Creation is many things, Sagittarius. So, let's see what else we have. The whole creating, manifesting energy whoa, is very strong with, um, with the moon we have right now. With the full moon in Sagittarius, we have this Friday the 5th. It's the 5th, I don't know if that's on Friday. Which is also all about creating and manifesting what it is that you want. Ooh, the lovers. Maybe it's in a relationship. Maybe you're creating within a relationship or creating a new relationship. It's actually funny, I've not had a single a single love reading up until this point. Hmm. At least not in this capacity. But your future self or your higher self definitely wants you to know something about this. Let's see what else we have. Ten of Wands, the Moon, some confusion, Judgment, Page of Pentacles, See for the last card and check it. Whoa. And strength. All right. All right. So it looks like I was right, but I was also wrong. So, <laughs> so we do have the lovers here, which signifies to me that this reading may be for, for the most part, for the ones of you who are in a committed relationship already, because. We also have the Ten of Wands here, which is, you know, embarking on a journey, but going alone, basically. And then we have the Judgment card as well, and the Moon. But so, so, so the Moon here is a lot about, you know, creating new things. It's also about um, just jumping into the deep end of something. So I feel like some of you guys are embarking on a journey when it comes to your career. And there is someone in your life, I'm not necessarily saying a lover, but it could be, could also be a partner of a different sort. Um, that does not necessarily approve of your change in your life, but your future self is here to let you know that you are strong enough to go through this. Even if you have to go alone, which you don't necessarily have to. It all depends on what you figure out with this person that is otherwise going to embark on this journey with you. I feel like 
it also depends on the energy of the person because if it's if it's a judgment free person then it's only yourself stopping you but if if it's the judgment of the person you might end up going on this journey alone or at least you're going to feel that way for a while so the moon is also about facing your fears and trusting your intuition so whatever it is that you need to do no matter what this person up in the lover energies card is telling you your intuition knows best what it is that you actually need to do right now and that is what i feel like your higher self is coming to tell you this person in your life right now is attempting to i will not necessarily say derail you but for some of you that's a high possibility um the ray you of like your true path and if you don't resolve this with this person it could end up that you go alone on this journey now the page of pentacles the reason why i'm saying you're going on a new journey is because of the page of pentacles because the page of pentacles is about new journeys that like you're being new to something so it's a very earthy energy as well, so I don't know if some of you are going to be dealing with an earth sign. It is this whole thing about being a novice at something and learning and growing. But it's also about success. And, you know, this judgment that we see is also about overcoming the judgment within yourself. Um, because, again, you are strong enough to go on this journey. Again, the overall energy is dream a beautiful dream. So... You know, you need to dare to dream, and that's what your future self is here to tell you. You need to dare to dream no matter what people in your life tell you. No matter if they tell you this is not a good idea, like you're gonna, like you're not gonna, this is not gonna be fruitful, whatever it is, the Page of Pentacles is gonna tell you. Like it's a learning process, it's a learning curve, but you're gonna get there because you have the strength to do it. And your higher self, your future self, know this. So they are here to give you the courage to take the step, even if that means leave your, leave your lover behind or let them tell them, you know, you need to do this and they can choose to support you or they can choose to not support you, you know. <clears throat> but whatever it is, you can have their support, but at the end of the day, you're still doing this alone. So let us take... Another oracle card to finish you guys off with. Whew, Sagittarius. This is gonna be a ride, huh? Also, it can be that a person is not telling you the full truth right now. And misleading you that way. But then you need to see the truth. You need to open your eyes. And see what it is that's really there. And then we have Restore and Replenish, because it is going to take some of that. No matter like how you come out of this, this is probably going to create a conflict for you. This situation with this person, contra what it is that you want, is probably going to create a conflict. This card is here to tell you that it does not necessarily mean the end of the friendship or the relationship or the partnership. It's just a bump on the road. So don't fret, it's going to be fine, you know? You're gonna be okay, but just because that you're going on this journey alone does not mean you necessarily lose the person. Maybe they don't approve of it, but they can be like, okay, you know, you go on this journey, that's fair, and I will see you on the other side. And that's fair, you know, you cannot always make everybody follow along religiously. And some people need, especially in these times, to take times for themselves. And take time to heal their own things before they can help others heal with theirs. And that's totally fair. And you need to let them do that if that's the case. And then again, you need to not judge them. You know, because people go through things differently. And it's a difficult time for all of us right now. I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say for this reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. There is definitely something exciting coming in the future. Please let me know in the comment sections below if you have an inkling of what that might be. I would love to hear it. And also, if you enjoyed this or could resonate with it in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. As well as if you would like to join this little family of ours, feel free to subscribe to my channel. 
we would definitely love to have you. And without further ado, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!